We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little. Okay, so, when I was little, and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Oh. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Look at this old thing. Ugh, busted. I think this is it, up there. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, 
yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off me! Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Okay. No, yeah, it's just, this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Here's what we're gonna do. Jaime, Chris, you start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Jaime? Chris? All set? And... action. 